One of the most controversial topics in birding is whether the ivory-billed woodpecker still exists or if it is extinct. It is or was the largest species of woodpecker north of Mexico and the third largest in the world. Possibly the last universally accepted sighting was in the 1940s, and photo, video, and audio of ivory-billed woodpeckers exist from a nesting pair in the 1930s that was collected by a team from Cornell. However, there have been alleged reports of ivory-billed woodpeckers since then, including possible audio, video, and photos that are subjective in nature and controversial. Many of these reported sightings are actually of the similar-looking and common pileated woodpecker, or other woodpecker species. Ivory-billed woodpeckers are thought to live or have lived in very specific habitats in the southern United States and Cuba, possibly only in virgin bottomland hardwood forests in the U.S., although some argue that they could have also lived in other habitats. Either way, if you're out searching for ivory-billed woodpeckers or just want to know how to tell them apart from the similar-looking pileated woodpecker, here are the differences between the two species. Both pileated and ivory-billed woodpecker males have a red crest, white lines on their neck, and black and white on their wings. A male ivory-billed woodpecker would have a much more noticeable ivory-colored bill and a white line on the neck extending down the back on both sides. The pileated woodpecker would have multiple white lines near their eye compared to the single line near the eye of the ivory-billed. Additionally, a perched ivory-billed woodpecker would have a white triangle visible on their lower back due to their folded wings, which would be black on the pileated. I've heard this referred to as the pileated woodpecker looking like it's wearing a black backpack and the ivory-billed woodpecker looking like it's wearing a white backpack. As far as size, an ivory-billed woodpecker would also be larger than a pileated woodpecker. A female ivory-billed woodpecker would have the same color pattern as the male, except with an all-black crest that may be recurved. A female pileated woodpecker will still have some red on their crest, but likely not as much as the male, with other identification features being similar. In flight, when the wings are viewed from below, the pileated woodpecker will have white visible on only the leading edge of the wing, where an ivory-billed woodpecker would have white on the leading and trailing edge of the wing, appearing more white overall. When the open wings are viewed from above, the pileated will have crescents of white in the middle of the wing, while the ivory-billed will have white visible on the trailing edge of the wing. It is also thought that ivory-billed woodpeckers would have faster wing beats compared to a pileated woodpecker and make faster swooping motions to land on the trunks of trees. Another bird that could be mistaken for an ivory-billed woodpecker is the red-headed woodpecker because it also appears to have a white backpack and white on the trailing edge of its wings. However, a red-headed woodpecker would have an all-red head and be much smaller than an ivory-billed woodpecker would be. The calls of both ivory-billed and pileated woodpeckers are also very different, with ivory-billed woodpeckers making what are called Kent calls and doing double knocks as opposed to the pileated's call and rapid drumming. I've heard people say that other birds such as blue jays could mimic the sounds of ivory-billed woodpeckers, but I have not yet personally heard one doing so. One of the more advanced identification differences between ivory-billed woodpeckers and pileated woodpeckers is that because the birds are members of different genuses, they would perch on a tree trunk differently. The ivory-billed woodpecker is in the Campephalus genus, which means due to their larger size, their ankle would appear to rest on the tree, where in the pileated, it would appear to be held more away from the tree. This can be seen in this video of a pale-billed woodpecker from Costa Rica, which is also in the Campephalus genus. Seeing an ivory-billed woodpecker would likely look more similar to seeing a pale-billed woodpecker as opposed to seeing a pileated woodpecker. The neck of Campaphilus woodpeckers may also seem longer and more thin compared to the thicker and stubbier neck of the pileated woodpecker. Here are some other species that could also be confused with ivory-billed woodpeckers out in the field. Ivory-billed woodpeckers have reportedly been seen in the last 40 years in the big woods of Arkansas, 
the Pearl River in Louisiana, the Choctahatchee River in Florida, and more. This would not likely be a bird you would see at your bird feeder or in urban areas. Please do your research before claiming you have seen or heard one in unlikely habitats. With that being said, you are always welcome to send us possible images, videos, or sound recordings of ivory-billed woodpeckers to badgerlandbirding at gmail.com. But please be sure to rule out all other common species. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Thank <music> you.